Hi there, welcome to Tesla Electron. Keith here. We're going on a little trip up north. We're uh, just starting our trip. We're leaving the central coast. We're heading to Newcastle for our first night. I will charge there. We've currently only got, uh, we've got 73% in the vehicle. Uh, we started at about 82% from home. And so now we're going to, as I said, go to Newcastle. Tomorrow we're going to go to the uh, charge jet chargers. And we're going to try out the the new lead that I bought from ChargeJet th this week. It only took three days to come, which was excellent. But, so we're gonna test that out in the morning and we'll, of course, we'll video that. Enjoy the journey with us as we test out the Tesla Standard Range Plus. Uh, we're going to Kingscliff in, just off the border of New South Wales and Queensland. It's as far as we can go at this point. And so we'll talk to you as we go. See you soon. Hi there, we've just driven to Newcastle. We're at the Novatel. The Novatel has a Tesla charger, but what you'll find in, as in with most of these hotels, so there's an ice car sitting in the electric car charging spot. So unfortunately the lead's quite short. And of course on a Tesla like mine, it's not gonna reach all the way across to the left-hand side that's required to be able to charge. So at the moment we've got about 57% left. So what we'll do tomorrow, we'll go to the charge jet on the foreshore and we'll try out that lead at the charge jet charges. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hi there, Tesla Electron Keith here again. So here we are at the jet charge charges on the foreshore at Newcastle and as you can see there's two of them here but one of them's out of order uh, from our understanding that one's been out of order for a very for quite a long time so there's only two po two points here and of course as you can see there's already two uh, Teslas there charging so we won't get a charge here today uh, we'll go up to Heatherbray next and we'll do, go to the fast charger at Heatherbray after we have some breakfast and we'll get some lunch there. But as you can see, it's pretty well set up here. Like they've got solar panels up the top. We'll get a photo of the solar panels. So they're using solar and these are actually free. So you get a free charge basically. Um, I'm not 100% sure on what the charge rate is. Uh, 22 kilowatts, is it? So 22 kilowatts, which is not too bad. So yeah, so it's only got the one here. So if you need to come here, check on the Charge Fox app before you come. Uh, the Charge Fox app will tell you a uh, which ones are in order or not in order, and it'll also tell you whether they're in use or not. I'll see you again at Heather. Hi guys, I'm at uh, Heather Bray. It's bucketing down raining, so this will be quick. So here we are at Heather Bray. There's quite a number of chargers here. As you can see down here, there's probably, what, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six chargers. They all seem to be working, which is great. Um, probably 30 minutes charge to 80%. If you want a little bit more than that, you know, it'll be a little bit more. But by and large, 30 minutes and you're, you're done to 80% and off you go to the rest of your journey. Sorry about all the noise from behind, but it's, it's just off a main arterial road and you've got to go down to one of the main roads there, turn left in past a hotel, and then you drive back past here. And of course, the parks are just here. And as you can see, my Model 3 is charging. We're just about ready to go. I'll go and do some amenity stops and then I'll be off. Hi guys, I jumped back in the car. It's a bit wet. So um, I've, we've been here a bit longer because we had to be on the phone, um, just doing some business stuff. Um, but, so we've been here a bit longer. Sorry, I was out of the camera shot there for a second. 
so yeah i've got two cameras in the car i'll take some footage as i go but but by and large i just want to talk about the charging and the infrastructure here it's not bad we've got as i said six of them here at heather bray um, there's an amp hole within walking distance uh, which is not too bad as long as it's not raining <laughs> of course i got a bit wet because it is raining uh, it would be nice the one thing that could be nice here at this particular supercharger would be some over covers uh, possibly solar over the roof would be nice but just something that would give a bit of shelter um, at the moment there's no shelter here so in the summer in this heat it, it's very very hot and of course when it's raining you're, you're going to get wet so yeah that's its only glitch that i can see i've tried this supercharger out now twice and uh, both times it's been really good i'm almost at a uh, full charge Charger. So there's six of them here. A bit hard to find. You've got to go around off. If you're going north, you've got to go off the road and around and then back in. So that's how it works. And this charger here. I'll jump back in the car because it's bucking down the road. Hi, Di. Hi Keith. <laughs> been enjoying the journey? <laughs> yeah. What's been your highlight? Um, it travels really well. I've, I've said this before, it really glides um, on the freeway. It's been a nice trip apart from the rain. Um, yeah, and it's great just not to be using petrol. It doesn't use petrol. That's right. Exactly, my point. So we got <laughs> the free 1500 kilometres, which now is no longer available through using Australia's Adams link. So about a week later, they cancelled it. So I was very lucky. Thank you, Tesla. Uh, but I think we've got about 700 left. Wouldn't, wouldn't be much more than that. So we'll probably, this will be the only trip we'll get it on. Yeah, our next trip for Christmas will be paying for. So if you, you're using the supercharger going up and down the north coast just comment below if, how much on average it's costing you on the supercharger network i'd be really interested all right i'm going to flick the camera around and show you where we're at we've been here about 10 minutes okay so this is where we're at uh, it's saying we've got 10 minutes remaining before we can continue trip what we found at Heatherbury was that it was, um, it said that we can continue the trip, but when we got here, we only had about 30%. And so it doesn't look to me like the, um, what do you call that? That it's measuring not quite accurate. So we'll probably put a little bit extra in here as well as we did at Heather Bray, just to make sure. Uh, we certainly don't want to end up, because it says we'll only have 17% when we get to Coffs Harbour. So we definitely don't want to end up in a situation where we uh, haven't got charge when we hit Coffs. So we'll make sure we put a bit extra here while we're, whilst we're here. And um, yeah, so that's where we're at. Sort of gives you a bit of an idea of what's charging, how quick it's charging, all of those sorts of things. So at this one at Port Macquarie, at this charger, there is a winery. The winery here, Casa Casa Green, Casa Green, something like that. Said. There's a cellar here, so you can go in. So if you show your show your card and all your bits and pieces. You can go in and do a wine tour while you're here. How cool is that? There's bathrooms and amenities. So it's a good little spot. Okay. All right, so we put in 98% um, in that time at the wineries. 
and now we're heading north again we're going to go to the Coffs Harbour supercharger so that'll be the next time you see us we'll be at the Coffs Harbour supercharger Deep in the shadows I know it's hard to pull one foot in front of the other ah, so far is the echo where do we start? You can learn to discover a million stars Here in the shadows, I know you're scared Take my hand together, we'll make a stand We've got to fight to find a way Dare to fall to find our words to say no more hate Just admit that you're just afraid Time to let go of all your fears and pride Stand up beside me, don't you hide We can build a better place If we can just find a way Okay, so we're at Coffs Harbour. Um, the Tesla did take us around the world, but we could have been better off coming off the, straight off the freeway into the shopping center here at Coffs Harbour. So there's a shopping center, which is fantastic. Uh, there's uh, six stalls at this one as well. As you can see, there's only two vehicles here at the moment. They're all working that I can, as far as I can tell. Uh, we've currently, we started with 58% at this point uh, because we're still going north uh, from this point we'll go about another half an hour north and we'll stay there the night so we need to charge here to 100% uh, we'll go and get something to eat so yeah there's it's a great little spot to stop and charge again 30 minutes to charge to 80% and it's it's a great little community great spot Coffs Harbour great spot to come and and do surfing or whatever you'd like to do on the beaches. Great beaches here, uh, great shopping, good spot to do all that sort of thing. So this is the Coffs Harbour Charger. Char this is the Coffs Harbour Charger, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Deep in the shadows, I know it's hard to pull one foot in front of the other. Ah. All right, so we stayed the evening here at this little place called Ocean Whispers. Great moment. 